Yes, a very good morning to you too. Yes, the minister has arrived. In fact, we have just now concluded the address that the minister was delivering here at the summit where, you know, as you said, you know, intro scientists and different experts are here to share strategies and programs going into uh, another 110 years of the Council for Geosciences. In a speech, the, the minister commended the CGS for its resilience and survival for the 110 years and then called for more collaboration as we usher more another 110 years going forward but i have with me the minister of uh, mineral resources and energy mr kwete mandashe we appreciate your time minister in your speech you alluded to the facts that uh, the cgs plays a crucial role uh, in assisting the country uh, as it tries to explore you know the the, the, the the land that we have and trying to explore as more minerals as possible i want you minister to tell us you know how much of the data you know that comes out of the cgs informs you know policy making when it comes to exploiting the minerals here in the country uh, you must appreciate that celebrating 110 years is an event that is organized to actually mark the beginning of the next 110 years because that history of the 110 years we are going to inherit is uh, in files it is in all forms of preservation of information but more important the challenge is, is geoscience determining the future of the country. It is doing very well in terms of indicating what should we do differently uh, to develop our country. You remember that uh, South Africa used to be uh, mining, but mainly equated to gold mining. Today, it has all sorts of minerals. We are producing 70% of world platinum. We are producing massive amount of manganese, producing a massive amount of iron ore. All that is a product of geoscience. As we move forward, we're talking of a green economy. What we are no, is not pronounced all the time is that that green economy will depend on what we discover geoscientifically uh, to be used to develop those technologies of green economy. Now, Minister, to also continue on the green economy, I also spoke with the, the CEO of CGS who says that uh, South Africa has great potential, especially as the world now wants to move the direction to renewable energy. We have the minerals that we assist the world in all of it. But as we explore, you know, and enter that space, speak to me about how then do we navigate a situation where this exploration tends to maybe clash with livelihoods? Uh, exploration will never clash with livelihoods. It generates livelihoods. Actually, it protects livelihoods and lives because it discovers minerals that we can use uh, and, and process them into generating wealth. So it can clash with livelihoods. It generates livelihoods. The only confusion in a polarized debate is when you equate exploration to destroying the environment. Instead of appreciating that, you do exploration, you mine, but you do that uh, responsibly. Uh, you protect the environment, but continue with the development. Therefore, geoscience must help us understand coexistence between development and environment. And geoscience will help us to understand that. Mm. And the data that you receive from CGS, has it played a role in maybe empowering, you know, local miners and uh, uh, and bring in more people who want to be players in the space. Yes, it is because let me let me give you an example. I don't know if you know that many of the major companies have moved out of the country. Your analog uh, gold is no longer here, but gold mining continues. Uh, why is it continuing? Is because society is empowered to understand the value of mining, and other people take over. You know. There's a mining company which is the biggest coal producer in South Africa called Amon. When it was uh, changed, it was left with three months' life, and young engineers, enthusiastic and very energized, converted it and changed and built an empire out of it. It's a big mining house now. That is the power of geoscientific understanding and the appreciation of when you deal with marginal mines. Geologists are, are more important because if you don't do that, you're going to sterilize that deposit. Um, uh, Minister, do you foresee South Africa ever playing a leading role when it comes to new innovations and discoveries, especially in the sector of geosciences? It is leading now. It is a leading economy now. That's why you'll see our CGS is invited throughout the continent. It's invited to Middle East. It goes everywhere. 
because it is recognized as having the capacity and the, the ability to innovate and develop geoscience. Minister, we thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. That was the Minister of uh, Mineral Resources and Energy here in South Africa, Kote Mantashi, just speaking to us, you know, about the kind of collaboration that they want to see with the CGS, also saying that, you know, South Africa is leading in the areas of geosciences, thanks to the Council of Geosciences. Back to you in studio.